Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing the Marsh Owl Crate box. I really have to say that I think this box has arrived like really early because today is only March 21st and I have the March Owl Crate box and usually I don't get it until like the very end of the month or the beginning of the next month. If you haven't heard of Owl Crate, it's $32.99 a month plus shipping. You can get young adult or middle grade. So this one does not offer adult subscription. So it's young adult or middle grade only. They have magical type books that they feature every single month. So magical fantasy those kinds of genres each box will have bookish goodies and the book will be signed by the author which is a great bonus because a lot of book boxes don't offer that artistic obsession that was the theme for this month it does have a very interesting art print doesn't it let's start with the first item on top night court embroidery kit Ooh, very interesting so kind of an artsy crafty type item which makes total sense with an artistic theme I do think it may be one of the first artsy craftsy type products that I've seen in an owl crate here's the needles and I guess it has a little bit of the pattern here looks like it's going to be really pretty I don't know if those are supposed to be like mountains or does it have a picture Ooh, the different colors of thread I still think it's a fun kit. Tap into your own creativity and get crafty with our Night Court Embroidery Kit. Four Seasons Box created a lovely design inspired by a Court of Thrones in roses that will look great in any book nook. Scan the QR code in the box for the instructions as well as a video to make this craft a breeze for even the most novice of embroiders. So I appreciate the video because I definitely understand watching videos more than just simply reading instructions. All right, next I see the literary luggage enamel pin for this month. If you remember, that is the collection for 2022. And this is the third one in the series. It says, Great Library of Summers Hall. And it is a cute little luggage of a library. I love the little cat that's in the middle too. Very cool design for this month. Next I see something to Oh, I was literally about to say something to drink, but no, it's age defined face mask powder. I was not expecting that. Behind every exquisite thing that existed, there was something tragic. Oh, well that's sad. Oh, and it has instructions on the back. I don't use a lot of face masks that come in powder and you have to like mix it together. So I don't know if I'll actually get use out of that or if I'll gift it, but I still think it's a cool product to receive in a box. Why age when you can have a portrait in your attic that does it for you? Fiction Bath Company brewed up this Dorian Gray face mask for all of us who don't have access to our own cursed portraits. All right, next item. Oh, it's a book sleeve. Yes. Okay. So this is actually a book sleeve. Sometimes I say book sleeves when I'm talking about the dust jacket. Well, I call it a book sleeve, but yes, how cool. It says hope makes its own magic. Ah, I use these all the time for my books and I have a couple that are this quality and I just stick books in them. So whenever I go on the go, if I'm gonna be gone for a long time, like when I went to my mom's, I packed two of them and I ended up finishing Eventide, which was the book I was reading. And I packed another book in a different one, which I didn't get a chance to start that one. But anyways, I love little book sleeves. They are a great way to protect your book, especially when you're traveling or you're out on the go. So it keeps stuff off the pages. I just love them. And then on the back of it, it has this really cool looking girl with blue hair. Fun fact, I always did want to have some blue in my hair and I tried it for a little bit. I did some blue highlights five years back and the blue didn't want to come out of my hair. It took forever for my hairstylist to get the blue out of my hair, like forever. Even after I covered it red, my hair was red for a while and that took a little bit of time to come out before I went back to blonde. But anyways, she's pretty cool looking. Looks like she's painting and there's books in the background. So I can relate to that picture. Love it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Man, Alcrate is just coming out with some really great creative type products lately that I love to see because you don't see them very often. And this says, you are like a living rose among wax flowers. And it's a place for you to hold pictures and stuff. I desperately needed another one of these too. It's been so long since I filled one up. On the back it says, but isn't absurdity part of being human? 
We aren't ageless creatures who watch centuries pass from afar. Our worlds are small, our lives are short, and we can only bleed a little before we fall. Oh, very intriguing quote on the back of this. Oh, it's an art print album. Stella Bookish Art featured two of our favorite in Enchantment of Ravens quotes on her faux book cover design that adorns our art print album. Use it to organize and keep your art prints or photographs safe. I love that. You know what? I will probably actually use it for art prints because I keep all the art prints that I get in all of my book boxes and in a couple of my lifestyle boxes. I think Cosbox sends out some art prints too. Actually, it's all true now. Oops. I keep saying Cosbox. Anyways, I really do appreciate this because I have a stack of art prints that I just didn't know what to do with, but I didn't want to get rid of them, you know, because they're just so beautifully designed and now I have a place to keep them. So thank you, Alcrate. That is an amazing product. On to the book and a couple of items still in here. Cool. This is cool. I think they're stickers. I do see stickers from time to time and sticker sheet featuring quotes from Winter Song, The Kingdom of Back, Woven in Moonlight, and Henry Matisse. I haven't read any of those books but let's go ahead and read these stickers. There is music in your soul, a wild and untamed sort of music that speaks to me. Creativity takes courage. I weave thread after thread, turning strands into art, turning art into a secret message. Desire is your lifeblood and talent is the flowers it feeds. Really cool quotes and I love the design of the stickers. I just think they're really cool. I'll have to find a way to use them. I don't actually use a lot of the stickers that I get because I don't know what to do with them. It's like once you stick them on something, then you can't re-stick them. So it's, I don't know, it's like a whole thing, but I do think that those are really cute stickers. There was also a little booklet that they send at the bottom of the Alcrate box every month. They have an interview with the author of the book for this month. And then they also do an interview with a vendor. So this interview was a vendor who made the book sleeve photo challenge. A lot of these book boxes do have photo challenges. The theme for April is peek behind the curtain. And we have the book for this month, A Forgery of Roses, A Portrait is Worth a Thousand Lies by Jessica S. Olson. We have a letter from the author. This book looks like this when you take off the book cover and you have, someone pointed out to me just in my last Alcrate box that you can use this as like a little poster if you wanted to. It's very beautiful. Mira Whitlock. I'm sorry, I think it's Myra instead of Mira. Sorry about that. Mira Whitlock has a gift, one many would kill for. She's an artist whose portraits alter people's real life bodies, a talent she must hide from those who would kidnap, blackmail, and worse in order to control it. Guarding that secret is the only way to keep her younger sister safe now that her parents are gone. But one frigid night, the governor's wife discovers the truth and threatens to expose Mira if she does not complete a special portrait that would resurrect the governor's dead son. Desperate, Mira ventures to his legendary stone mansion. Once she arrives, however, it becomes clear the boy's death was no accident. Someone dangerous lurks within these glittering halls someone harboring a disturbing obsession with portrait magic. Mira cannot do the portrait until she knows what really happened, so she turns to the governor's oldest son, a captivating redhead poet. Together they delve into the family's most shadowed affairs, racing to uncover the truth before the secret Mira spent her life concealing makes her the killer's next victim. I don't think I've ever seen a storyline that's quite like that, you know, where you can change something in your painting. The closest I've come to seeing that was in the one Charmed episode, you know, like the Charmed series back in the early 2000s. They had an episode where one of the witches could draw like a comic book drawing and then make it come to life. And that's the closest thing that I can compare it to as far as trying to understand where it's gonna be going for, but it sounds really cool. 
Again, I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to read it, but guys, I have read three books in like a month. I'm on a roll. I'm happy with myself. Time to get started on my next book tomorrow. That's it for this month's Owlcrate box. Let me know what you thought of their products that matched the artistic theme. I thought they did a really good job, gave us some really good, interesting products, as well as some very useful products too. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye.